Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about some of the important disorders or very common disorders of the digestive system. So, the digestive disorders, it's mostly caused because of some bacterial and viral infections. So, these are the most common types of infections in the, which, uh, the disorders which are caused by the bacteria and the virus in the digestive system. Also, at times, these type of disorders in the digestive system can be caused by parasites like tapeworm, roundworm, etc. So, let us discuss some of the common types of disorders of the digestive system. The first type is, is a very common type known as jaundice. Jaundice, in this type of disease or in this type of disorder, the liver is affected very badly. Now, this happens because of the deposits of the bile pigment, specifically bilirubin, and because of this deposits, what happens? It causes the yellowing of the eyes and the skin. And the next type is vomiting. Vomiting is the ejection of the stomach contents. So, stomach contents comes out through the mouth. This is mostly controlled by the vomit center in the medulla oblongata of the central nervous system. Now, at times what can happen is the feeling of nausea can proceed to vomiting. Next common type of, very common type of disease is the diarrhea. Diarrhea is the frequent passage of stool that can lead to dehydration. Why? Because too much of stool is uh, passed out, too much of water contents are passed out and because of which the water content of the body reduces and it results in dehydration. So, this is mostly caused by bacterial infections and it also reduces the absorption of food. The next type of disease is constipation. Here, the feces, they are retained in the rectum. So, from the rectum through the anal uh, area, the feces cannot come out. Why? Mostly painful defecation happens as the feces become dry and why it becomes dry? Because of excessive absorption of water from the feces. So, this can happen because of the reduced bowel movement that is the reduced movement of the intestines. So, because of this reduced movement, excessive absorption of water can happen and this can lead to very dry type of feces. Now, it can also cause depression and abdominal discomforts. Now, the next type is indigestion. Indigestion, here the food is not properly digested. It leads to feeling of fullness that even without eating also, then we feel that stomach is full. So, this leads to a feeling of fullness. So, here this is mostly caused due to inadequate secretion of the intestine. It can cause, be caused by the anxiety, food poisoning, overeating and also because of various types of spicy food. So, in this video, we have talked about the most common types of digestive disorders or diseases that happen in the digestive system. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.